What's up, everybody? Joe Everest, the fence expert, and we're ripping this floor up. All right, so here we are outside the building where our building wastewater meets the city's wastewater. When the plumbers are out trying to figure out what was going on with the system, they realized the blockage was literally right here, one foot nine inches beneath us. So the plan is we're gonna cut all this concrete out. We're gonna excavate down one foot nine inches to expose that clay tile. We're gonna cut it and then replace everything with nice new clean PVC. In years past, the facility's maintenance was much easier. We were in 1,400 square feet. We had one toilet, one sink, one hose bib. The plumbing layout was much more straightforward. Fast forward to today, we've got 15,500 square feet. We've got four toilets, six or seven sinks, two hose bibs. There's a lot of water moving through this building, which means the facility maintenance is much more complex. There's more problems with it. We learned that this week when the sewer collapsed. In the middle of the plumbing fiasco, the cutting of the concrete floor and demoing the concrete out of the building, digging it up, redoing the plumbing, you guys saw it. In the middle of all that, we also had to set up for the HBA Home Show. It's one of our biggest shows of the year. We're gonna put tent here. Like just where the tent edges up and comes all the way back to this because it's going to stick out a little bit. Oh yeah, is there another one? Perfect. Okay, so that's what Mal Now the HBA Home Show is one of the biggest shows we do all year. Typically it's scheduled earlier in the year. Think late February. But if you'll remember in late February, we had some pandemic concerns floating around. So it got rescheduled to this weekend. Now, in addition to setting up the HBA home show display, we also donate a four foot white vinyl picket fence around the HBA's kid zone. Eric likes to say things very confident. Yeah, <laughs> let's see, what is it? Uh, whenever, whenever it's a 10 millimeter. If there's one thing you need to know about Eric, he will confidently give you an answer, whether it's right or not. So you always kind of have to question the answer he gives you. You got to probe a little bit to see, is this a real answer or what he thinks is the answer? And it'll be a nine or a 13 or a, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you. Thing. Yep, it fits perfectly. Small. Oh. 12, like I said. Oh. <laughs> 13, like uh -huh. I said. I believe I said 13. And it'll be a 9 or a 13. 13. See, I called it. I also said 13, so we're both right. <laughs> he said 13 eventually. <laughs> Joe, Joe said it was a 10. I said it was a 13 the whole time. Those are fence sign. Let's put it at the edge of the six foot. Meanwhile, while we're setting up for the HBA home show and making sure it's perfect, the plumbers are back at the shop and they're hard at work. All right, so as you guys have seen, the plumbers did a fantastic job. This is done. And on behalf of everyone here, I can say that we are very relieved to have restrooms once again. Now, there are a few things left here. As you can see, this is still somewhat of an open trench. They got it looked at, they got it filled and all that. 
They're gonna come back, I believe, on Tuesday. Fill this up with concrete, slick it off sort of thing. They're outside right now, slicking off the outside, getting the excess dirt moved out of here. But for now, we're pretty much done. Tell something else, Bricks. It's Friday, and it's kickoff day to the HBA Home Show. So most days in the office, I can be found wearing something like this. But for the home show, I think we can do better. All right. I think this is more like it. All right, guys. We're done. Right at the nick of time, we've got this booth about 99% done. We always fiddle with it through the weekend, but it's about as close as it's going to get. And like I said, we're done just in the nick of time because everybody's here. Well guys, and just like that, the HBA Home Show is a wrap. We had a lot of great conversations with some potential future clients. Also, the plumbing is mostly wrapped up. Let me know what you guys think about the new format. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.